Trump shocked at secret message written inside his flight jacket he got as a gift in Japan. President Trump began his first trip to Asia by praising Japan as a crucial ally but that's not the most notable moment of the day. Trump was shocked at a secret message written inside his flight jacket and it shows just how much respect for him that the military has in comparison to the former President Obama and his two terms as the president. This was unexpected but well respected. A true moment for Trump to realize the military he loves so much also shows the same mutual respect. Trump set foot in the Yokota Air Base, which is located on the fringe of Tokyo, and was met by a flurry of cheers from military service members. It was a moment he likely won't forget from his first trip to Japan. Trump was wearing a bomber jacket during a speech where he praised American firepower and talked about the beautiful alliance with Japan, something extremely important in a time where tensions are high with North Korea. Japan is a treasured partner and crucial ally of the United States, and today we thank them for welcoming us and for decades of wonderful friendship between our two nations, he said, speaking in front of an American flag inside an airplane hangar. Mr. Trump was expected to spend much of his 12-day, five-country Asian tour exhorting allies and rivals to step up efforts to counter the dangers posed by North Korea, which continues to move forward with its nuclear weapons program. Trump's message to the Yokota AFB airmen was important, earnest, and well received by the soldiers and military altogether. Then Trump unveiled a message that was written inside the bomber jacket he was wearing. A message inside the jacket tree presented by the women and men of the 374th Airlift Wing, Yokota Air Base. To know that our military from thought to present him with a special, personalized gift shows nothing but the respect and honor they have for him that they didn't feel for Barack Obama. They could have handed him a generic jacket with no message, but they took the time out of their day to present to him a jacket with a customized message which shows they appreciate his appearance and support. Furthermore, Japan is a good friend of America's and nothing is more valuable than having great allies in the country. Freedom Daily A message inside the jacket tree presented by the women and men of the 374th Airlift Wing, Yokota Air Base, Freedom Daily. Trump talked about Kim Jong-un but wouldn't refer to them by name and also constantly touting the nickname he coined when he called Jong-un the little rocket man quite a while ago. Both he and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un have been engaged in an escalating war of words, with Mr. Trump repeatedly referring to the North Korean leader as little rocket man and threatening in a recent speech to totally destroy the nation if necessary. Even before he landed, Mr. Trump used the first moments of the trip to denounce the North as a big problem that must be solved. There's been 25 years of total weakness, so we are taking a very much different approach toward the North, he told reporters traveling with him. During the speech, Mr. Trump did not mention North Korea by name but warned of the consequences of crossing what he called the most fearsome fighting force in the history of our world. Together with our allies, America's warriors are prepared to defend our nation using the full range of our unmatched capabilities. No one, no dictator, no regime, and no nation, should underestimate, ever, American resolve, Mr. Trump told the troops. Trump and Young uncontinuously cross paths on social media or other media outlets, consistently having ego-measuring contests, or other measuring contests if you catch my drift. It's an ongoing battle of wits to which Trump likely wins most matches, although Young Un sparked the hashtag when he called Trump a dotard. Then again, the hashtag hash dotard backfired gloriously as conservatives used it to hilariously poke jokes at almost every prominent Democrat public figure. The White House has signaled that Mr. Trump will push American economic interests in the region but the North Korean issue is expected to dominate the trip. He will forego a trip to the demilitarized zone, DMZ, the stark border between North and South Korea. All U.S. presidents except one since Ronald Reagan have visited the DMZ in a sign of solidarity with Seoul. Trump plans to skip a trip to the DMZ, but I believe he should go. There's no reason to not go. He's well respected, surrounded by allies, and he should certainly show his face. 
Then again, Trump isn't your everyday president. He moves in mysterious ways.